268 wow. days today and Nikki and Lillian great to have you back from your vacation with us again tonight oh, it is so lovely to be here I actually missed the broadcast I watched every night I thought by myself no I have to I'm part of this family and I really really missed you it is lovely to be back well it's great having you back no place like home Feels no like place home like right home. Here. Amen. So it's wonderful to be back. It's good to have you with us. We're going to have a great time tonight, but it's kind of a bittersweet night, Jen. Can you believe tonight is our last night broadcasting from this studio right here in the USA in 2020? Isn't that a sad thought? It, it really is because we're so used to coming into your homes live every single day. And it has been... It's just been a treasure to us. It really has. And I know that we will continue to be in your homes. It just won't be live. <laughs> but still, you're going to be receiving the best of the best. But I also just feel that the team that has been behind the scenes, not only here in the studio and, you know, in the offices behind, but also our Facebook ambassadors, 
those of you who have tuned in faithfully every single night, uh, those of you from the UK, the United States, from um, all over Africa, we just, we have done this together. That's yeah, really how yeah. I feel. We have done this journey together. And so it feels almost like a great celebration, like we've run the race of our lives. There's still obviously more to come, but this is a time where we can honestly take this day and say, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate the fact that we've come this far together and we are finishing strong for the year of 2020. It's going to be a great, great time. And uh, it really, like I said, it's a bit of sweet day, but uh, we're going to miss you all over Christmas and over the festive season because we're going to be repeating the programs. We will not be live. Tomorrow night will be the last live of the year for Faith Today from Buffalo City, East London with Pastor Kevin and Chantel. And uh, so we will still be live tomorrow, but from Buffalo City. And uh, then it's all over for us. And uh, Pastor Nikki and Lillian, you'll be back then in South Africa yes. in 2021. Yeah, we can't wait to get back to South Africa, our church. You know, yes. we really miss the family there. Yes. And uh, we, we, we are really ready for 2021. It's Come gonna on. be an awesome year. It's the year of the local church, Come on. you know, just like you said, and we're going to build strong and we're going to build it with the power of God, the That's anointing right. of God. And the greatest thing about this is yeah. you're going to see people's gifts manifested yeah. and people yeah. coming into their destinies and Come in their on. purposes. There's Come nothing on. as beautiful as seeing that. So I'm excited to see 2020 exploding with the power of God. That's right. That's Amen. right. Well, it's going to be, we, we're going to have a great time and uh, you might see over here, we have a gift that has arrived all the way from South Africa. All right, via, via, um, you, 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 what, what do they call that delivery service over here? Um, Uber International. Uber International, okay. All right, so here we have a milkshake for each of you from none other than Adrian Singh. Come on, Adrian, thank you, thank you, thank you. Adrian ordered us Uber Eats, all right, and Uber drinks to have a milkshake. He knows I'm a milkshake fanatic. Right, right. And, uh, you know, ice cream and milkshake every day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Children, remember that with your mother, okay, and your father. All right, the thing about an apple is not true, yeah. all right. I'm the picture of perfect health, all right. I'm the picture of perfect health because of a milkshake and ice cream every ice cream. single day of my life and then you are the picture of perfect health Pastor Nikki. so Just for the last two for the last 268 days you've been healthy too yeah. you see because of the milkshake yeah. and ice creams we've had to have every single day so cheers to all of you out there thank and Adrian Singh thank you so so much for our milkshakes oh, we good. really appreciate it Matt and Kelly come on I'm just so sad I mean, you guys are going to go at this glorious vacation and uh, we're going to miss you for all these weeks. I know, we're going to miss you guys too. Yeah, so we're going to spend some time with, with family and do a little bit of ministry over the holidays. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, we're, I can't believe, I told Pastor Andre before the show started that, you know, he asked me to come down for two weeks to be a part of this broadcast and now it's been over nine months. And so I told him, I said, this has been the longest two weeks of my life. Um, <laughs> But no, <laughs> we're, we're, so, we're so honored and so thrilled to have been a part of the, the Faith Broadcasting family this year and just the impact that this has had for us. We're so sad that it's ending this year, but we know that the Lord has so much more um, in the final days of this year and even on into 2021. And um, it's, the story's not over, it's just beginning and um, excited to see uh, what the Lord has in store for us in the coming days. Oh, so, wonderful. Well, yeah. we're just so blessed. And 2021 is going to be a great year. We're going we're gonna to open that dome. That's all I do know. I just don't know. Come on. We, we're going to believe for April, but I'm telling you, if anything happens, we are definitely going to open. God has done too much of a miracle Absolutely. for us not to get together. And 2021 is the year of Absolutely. the local church. Exactly. And that's why it must open. Yeah. The dome will open in Jesus' name. Yeah. It is the year of the local church. That's and, right. Uh, we're excited for that. Whenever it's going to happen, whenever yeah. it's going to take place, we are we going to it. celebrate the yeah. goodness of God. That's that right. Day. That's right. So, Kelly, what are the plans for Christmas? Come on, tell oh. us some of those special plans. We have so many. We're going to so many different places. We'll be in California with my family, and Matt's going to do a special 
Christmas Eve service there. Wow. Um, so that'll be really fun. And then we'll be in South Dakota with Matt's family. Hopefully, we'll get snowed in a little and okay. maybe do some you sledding. Can't, you, can't, you, you have to have a white Christmas. We need to have a white Christmas. Yeah. And then uh, we'll be we'll finish off in Tennessee with some family to bring in the new year and do some ministry at the ramp. So Very it'll be really oh, fun. Wow. So you guys are really getting around. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we'll okay. have a great break. All yeah. right. And <laughs> wow. maybe a beach or two in Florida. Yeah, that sounds nice. We'll work that in. All right. You'll, you'll work that in <laughs> somehow. Right. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> great. And uh, we, we, we're so looking forward. Mike, you've been a blessing to us this whole year. It's been absolutely amazing how you've held the band together, rotating musicians and keeping us, keeping ahead of everything for us. Thank you so much. For those who don't know, Mike, behind the scenes is the man that... Uh, puts everything together and coordinates it all for, for us. So thank you. Thank you for who you are. Thank you. I mean, this being here for me has been a huge blessing. You guys have been pouring into me, like, just as much as they've been pouring into you guys, the audience. And I just felt like, you know, I wanted to bless back somehow. So, you know, Aww. what I do what I do here is just me blessing you guys back. So in the way I can. So, you know, it's been great thank you for having oh, me here. wonderful wonderful amazing. well we trust you have a great rest as well yes. and uh, a great time away and um, what are we all eating for christmas what's the plan come on <laughs> all right what 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 <laughs> filet mignon yes. that's what we made for you guys well, that's we what we made you. for christmas yeah. in july that's right yeah. that's right okay okay filet mignon so so that's the american thing for christmas and uh, and ham and oh, yeah. ham and, and we, we are doing lamb, just so you all know, and in South Africa, eggs. we are doing legs of lamb, and we're doing turkey ham, and, and Waldo, you guys are doing a turkey for us for Christmas. <laughs> I'm doing the turkey with you, okay? So come on, Doc, you, you've you been a strength behind us here, day in, day out. Uh, we just uh, love you so much, and uh, what do you want to say out there to everyone? Well, it's simple. Have a good break. Have an excellent Christmas. Um, 2021 is going to be better than 2020. So thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for supporting us. And, yeah, we just pray God's blessing over you. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> thank you so much. Now, now the thing is, you know, where, where's Gavin? Gavin, come, come here quickly. Call Gavin there from behind the scenes, okay? Get him over this side. And... Um, I need him quickly to run into the camera shot over here, Gav. Okay, come and uh, come and be a part of this as well. You, you know, behind the scenes, we've got the camera ladies, we've got the cameramen, and uh, you, you might have to grab, I don't know, grab Matt's mic over there quickly for a second, Gav. Come, 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 jump in over here. Gra grab his mic. We've got we to at least hear you say something just for... For one second over there. This is the man, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! This is the man that has carried the show for 268 days behind the scenes. Thank you. You're going to have to get up a little bit more. Okay, come sit on, sit on my lap here, Gav. There we go. Sit on my lap. <laughs> Do I have to say something? you got to say something. The mic's on. I mean, 268 days. There's a reason why I'm behind the scenes. <laughs> They say I've got a face for radio, so can I go back? <laughs> <laughs> Is the mic on? Is the mic on? Yeah, I can't. I, I, there we go. I asked, I asked uh, to, Faith to, to mute me. <laughs> let, let, let me say this about Gav. Here's the funniest part of everything. We would not have been able to do this without this man. Okay, I want you to understand that. We flew him in the last flight from South Africa to America, where it was the last open flight and they shut the borders down. He right. walked through the borders and the borders shut behind him and for 268 days this man has carried the show. Come on, give a shout out to Gavin on Facebook right now, wherever you are and uh, with his family. It's been a, a long process. He put the studio together, he got everything together because we didn't have a fully operational studio to be able to go live around the world. So thank you buddy. Right. Yeah. All right. Years and years, you've been part of the team hiding behind the scenes, but I wanted to show your face. He says he's only got a face for radio. But, uh, but you needed to understand, this is the man, he's trained all the youngsters, he's trained Christian faith, all of them, put everything together technically. 
we would have had nothing if it hadn't have been for him. Yeah. So uh, I've kind of lost my job because they're all doing it so well these days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a good place to be. Work yourself out of a job. Early retirement for you, Gav. All right, come on. Give it up for Gavin one more time. Just, uh, I, I wanted you to see him. You know, he's always behind the scene. Never wants to be on camera. But here he is on camera and uh, with his daughter, Kendra Sky, get a shot of Kendra Sky over there. Come on, swing one of those cameras at least. Okay, get a shot. <laughs> there she is. Okay, she got a shot of herself. And uh, Ava, Ava, you're a blessing as well. Thank you, thank you. There's Ava on the camera as well. And uh, Ava's such a blessing always to us. And Kaylee, there's Ava. Look at that. These, these young girls, I want to tell you, they're the best camera people out. There's uh, Kaylee. Look at her. Okay, there's Kaylee. And uh, they, they have been such a blessing behind the scenes to us. Faithful. Girls, we couldn't have done it without you. Right. I, I want you to know that. And then uh, Jordan, Christian, and Faith all behind the scenes, all of them working. Eric's and Eric's helped out. And uh, Megs, you here as well, supporting <laughs> mom and dad today. So thank you so much uh, for jumping in. We, we've had a rotation of drummers, a rotation of different musicians coming in. And uh, just building part of the, the core group of what are yet to yeah. end the program with today. God has formed a family. It's been a family. You know, a family has come together and it's just amazing to see how God has birthed this whole vision and put people around that, that needs to support the vision of television yeah. and of preaching the gospel throughout the world, not just in a certain location, but around the world. And God has placed tremendous people, tremendous giftings together. Yeah. And uh, we just pray that it will happen in your life as well, that you will expand in 2021 in every aspect of your life. So get ready. It's going to be an amazing year, an amazing time with the presence of God, the anointing of God. And we're ready for the local church to expand from glory to glory. It, it, it's going to be absolutely something. You know, as we look in and as we step into 2021, that has been, a, Ted did such a good job. Yeah, a great job. All right. Well, wasn't that amazing, Jen, about running the race and, uh, and not in any way getting behind, but running ahead. And uh, that's been a big encouragement to each and every one of us is to run that race into victory yeah. into 2021 and beyond. I think what is also really, really encouraging is when he spoke about, and honestly, I had never seen that scripture like that before yeah. in, I think it was Psalm 22. I think it was that one when it, well anyway it, it spoke about in the red sea how god went before them went before the israelites um, when he spoke about the open door ted was speaking all about that how the door that god opens and no man can shut and then god closes and no man can open and understanding as long as we are walking in the ways of god and our hearts are dedicated towards him then he does go before us. The word says that he goes before us and makes a way. He opens the doors and he walks in front. So though the Red Sea parted before God himself and how that Psalm speaks about his footsteps being in that sand, that even though people didn't see it, it actually happened. He walked before them. And I just love that because I believe that that is how it is for every one of us. And you might feel almost overwhelmed at this time of year. It's quite funny how it's always at the end of the year yeah. where people just tend to lose that resistance <laughs> to all the little foxes and all those things that, that want to steal our joy and our peace because we kind of like wanting to get to that finish line. But it's, it's such an encouragement to know that no matter how we feel and where our emotions are at, as long as we hide ourselves in the Lord, we can be confident in this, that He goes before us. He's opened the doors. The enemy may not close those doors. And He walks in, before us. So we follow in the footsteps of Jesus, in the footsteps of the one who has promised to never leave us, never forsake us, and to always provide for us. So that is our encouragement to you as well. Even now at the end of the year, it doesn't matter how your emotions seem to fail you. Understand that there, there is a God who goes before you and refuses. He, Because He's in you, Lillian, our favorite scripture, God is in me, right, I will right. not fail. That's right. Now, I, I'm trying to read comments on Facebook, but there's something not right with Facebook today. I do apologize. We can't read all your comments. We're looking at the problem and trying to fix because the comments aren't scrolling. So we can't actually see who's commenting. We know a lot of you are there, yes. 
and a lot of you are commenting, but for some reason we're having problems with the Facebook feed. And uh, we just know you're out there, so by faith we're going to go today. If, if you're okay on Facebook, keep chatting to each other. No. All right, keep, 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 uh, keep, keep interacting, keep being a part of it. We'll see how we can reset and what we can do. But uh, it's going to be a, a glorious time. Now, this is what I, I, I want to do. I want to roll in something for you to recap just a little bit of this year. It's going to be about five, six minutes all right, just to recap, and this, I, I said to them, I said, I, I don't want all the funnies. I want just what God said in the year. All right, and through the different guest speakers and, uh, and just through this uh, 268 days today that uh, we've been uh, fellowshipping together, growing in the word of the Lord, and I know this is going to bless you. All right, so would you come with us now? And uh, let's go for the next five, six minutes and let's take a look at what's happened and what God has said over these last 268 days. Here it is. All of history you will find wherever the enemy tried it, silence the church, the very opposite happened. We dream of a continually anointed ministry whose faith level facilitates the daily occurrence of signs, wonders and miracles. That's what's happened every single day. The Lord is waiting upon us as His children to advance His kingdom, to bring heaven. We carry the atmosphere of heaven in us and that has to be shown everywhere we go. I believe the Holy Spirit is not only showing us the way in which He's going to move, but He's revealing who He is and who you are and I'm so excited. Everything I'm expecting comes from God. The enemy is defeated. He is defeated. We've seen marriages get restored. We've seen sons and daughters come back into the house of faith. And we've seen people being able to dream again, have purpose again. I've learned to love the Lord more. Yes. I've been called to live in this time, in this season, in 2020. Not by your own strength, but by the strength of the blood of Jesus. So let's drink it by faith. Grow in your faith. That where you're at now is not where you're going to be. For you to truly understand who, who you are in Christ, that the power is within you. God doesn't change. He's immutable. He is the same. The church is the voice and you shall rise up. The generation is in need of an encounter. The generation is in need of Jesus. Your new beginning is happening tonight in the name of Jesus. And I want you to be ready that nothing and stop the supernatural supply that God has for your life. In fact, during this massive pandemic around the world, it is separated. It is separated those that are still hungry. It is separated those that are desperate. We carry the Spirit of God on the inside of us. Please call my cat Tiger. He doesn't miss it. <laughs> How do you call a cat? Tiger! Tiger! <laughs> Tiger! <laughs> the subject of an April Fool's Day joke. What's Did wrong, Bill? Yeah, she's got joy. <laughs> they put vinegar <laughs> in our communion cups. <laughs> we should actually count all the days your mic has been off, all right? And we could actually do a whole program just on your mic being off. Well, Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10 says, the joy of the Lord is our strength. We're building the kingdom together. Yeah. His kingdom. He calls it His harvest. The sound of yeah, praise yeah, yeah. causes confusion in the enemy's camp. So all you got to do is lift up a shout of praise. I want to know your fragrance. God, I'm bowing down for your throne. Jesus came equipped by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the power and the authorization of God to set the oppressed free. Your testimony is going to become in your life the most powerful thing out oh, as, you, yes. as you push on in what God is How doing. You overcome? And your testimony of the small amount is going to be the same testimony for the bigger amount. Remember, it's no more faith. Same. Same faith. When we understand the Word of God, apply it to our lives, we open our lives to a, a limitless cycle 
of supernatural blessing. We've built it, not like every other church that has needed to build because they've run out of space. We have built it because God said, build it and they will come. You are putting your trust in Him. That's why I love this as the final point of the Ten Commandments. Because what you're doing is you're doing everything practically you know to do. And you get to the last commandments. And what are you doing? You are bringing your house in order and your family. And you are putting your God first. Our world needs a move of God. By the stripes of Jesus, we were healed. Ask the Lord of the harvest to send us workers. This is the race that has been set before us to run. Changing the world is our calling. Young people are stepping into destiny. Mm. Young people are stepping into their calling. Lean not on your own understanding, but trust in the Lord always. In other words, everybody who practices their faith like Abraham does, is going to have God bring forth supernatural blessing in their future, just as God did for Abraham. Do you know that God can come through for you in an instant? Giants must fall. Take on the giant and win. The more you know him, the more you spend time in his word, the more you become like him. Knowing him and in his presence, when you are in his presence, there is everything you need. There is fullness. Stay in love with Jesus every second of your day. The Bible says that, that your, your faith falls by hearing. So every time that you sing a worship and it's based in the word of God, you are singing, singing the promises of God. You are singing the word of God and you are like, I just put it in you. And whatever you're going through, just know there's a God bigger than your situation. This is about His presence. This is about His Spirit. All of history you will find, wherever the enemy tried to silence the church, the very opposite happened. We dream of a continually anointed ministry whose faith level facilitates the daily occurrence of signs wonders and miracles that's what's happening every single day that is our heart that's the word of god every single day and um, i love the way they edited that by rewinding it and playing the start again because that's what god said to us let this network be a place that daily signs, wonders, and miracles take place. If these two hours have blessed you for the last 268 days, I want you to get into that comment section. If you can, we can't see the comments. Just put there, days of power. Hmm. Days of power. Come on, days of power. I want you to write us a testimony over this Christmas break. I, I want you to take the time and I want you to write us some emails. I want you to send them to partner at myfaithtv.com. You know what I would really value, Jen? Is if everybody out there just took five minutes of your time and wrote a short, brief testimony of what God did through these hundreds of days in your life. And if you could send them to us at partner at myfaithtv.com and we'd love to read them over Christmas. We'd love to, to just hear and see what has God done in your life because Pastor Nikki and Lillian, we, we poured out the heart of God is really what our hearts were over this week. Matt, Kelly, everyone. I mean, if you look at the sacrifice yeah. and, and people need to understand this. Matt and Kelly traveled backwards and forwards from Orlando four hours away twice a week to come and be with us. I want you to understand the commitment. I want you to understand the commitment from everybody. You without your family all these months. Okay? Waldo without his family. And Mike uh, with the situation with losing your initial job. Okay? Being laid off as they say because of COVID. And God just opening the door. Think of the, 
the kids not being able to go to school. Think of everybody that sacrificed. And all we did was we all sacrificed in one way or the other. And we came together and we said, the show must go on. Now, I'm not talking of a show, a physical show. I'm talking about the presence of God. In other words, I said, Lord, give us a platform. Give us an opportunity to, to allow your presence to move, your healing power to move through the airwaves. And that's really what happened over 2020, Pastor. You see, God needs people at the place of sacrifice. Yeah. And, uh, and that's why one of the, one of the things that, that really provokes the presence of God is sacrifice. Yeah. You know, a normal giving doesn't bring, it does bring miracles, but it's that when you bring that sacrifice. Come on. The precious when seed. You go the extra mile. Come on. It's that precious seed that when once that is sown, it like activates something. Mm. And once a sacrifice is made, it's like God is attracted to that. Yeah. And the sacrifices of all the people in this room and behind the scenes attracted the presence of God yeah. for 268 days. That's why miracles and signs and wonders were happening because of the sacrifices yeah. Yeah. of people. And also, this network is not built upon one person that gave $10 million or a million dollars. It's built upon the sacrifices of many people, the widow, the poor, the, the one that can give the $1 and the $5 and the 10 rand and the 20 rand. It's all those combined sacrifices that makes this network so powerful. And I'm telling you today, if you want the presence of God to manifest in your life, it will cost you everything sacrifice everything and once you've you've put it on the altar he'll come and meet you right there and and i want to encourage you those of you are watching i know you've been paying a sacrifice in 2020 but never lose that put more on the altar put yourself on the altar you know i love what catherine kuhlman used to say she says before i get on the platform i die a thousand deaths and that is exactly what it is. When I die, when I sacrifice, the presence of God comes, the blessing of God comes, the anointing of God increases. So put the sacrifice on there. And the people here in this room, they've sacrificed everything. And that's why we could see the blessing of God manifested in the that's lives right. of people. That's right. You know, tonight, I, I want us to do this. I want us to come before the Lord even right now. And I want us to bring an offering of thanks to Him. Yeah. I, I, I was thinking about tonight's seed and tonight's offering, and I know we're still early in the program. But I, I want to ask you this. Through the whole program tonight, bring a gift of thanksgiving to God, a gift of thanks, and say, Lord, thank you for all of these days at any time through the program. Yes, there's details on the screen, but... but You've come a long journey with us. You don't even need details anymore on the screen. All right? You know what to do. You know you can go to the website. You can give myfaith.tv. You know you can. There's bank details. There's a, a QR code. You can use your camera. I've told you this hundreds and hundreds of times. You know you can go to the top of the Facebook feed and you can click on donate right there on the top of the feed and it'll take you to the place where you can give online. Many different ways. But this is what I want. I want to open the giving now. And I want you to give for the next one hour, 24 minutes through this entire program. Anytime God speaks to you, so receive. Anytime you feel in your heart this is something you want to do, do it. But I want it to be a seed of thanksgiving tonight. Because Nikki and Lillian, we have to be honest. And, and I have to be honest with you. This program, these two hours, have saved many, many lives. Yes. Not only physically, but emotionally. There has been the saving grace of God for suicides through this program. When you read the testimonies like we do, all right, if you've got a testimony, you've got to get it to us. But if you read the testimonies, you will see this program saved people, their lives physically from the COVID disease, saved their lives emotionally from even that thought of suicide. This program has saved. Now, when I say this program, I'm talking about the, the anointing of God and the Word through this program. So don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Okay? But the Word of God through this program has saved people's lives in the area of finances. It has pulled them through. Marriages have been saved. 
children have come back into a relationship with their parents like never before. I'm thinking of all the testimonies of the past. I'm thinking of everything that has transpired and that has happened. It has blown me away to think and see the thousands and thousands and thousands of people whose lives have been touched. If that was your life, I'm going to ask you tonight, over the next 90 minutes left that we've got of this program, at some point in the program, you just say, I'm ready to sow my seed of thanksgiving. I'm ready to sow my seed of, of sacrifice to say, Lord, thank you for who you are and what you have done in my life over all of these days. And that's what I'm really wanting in my heart for tonight's offering. I don't want it to be about an offering. The, the, the details will come on the screen periodically through the program. They'll go off and they'll come back on and they'll go off and they'll come back on. It makes no difference. You just do what God has told you to do when God has told you to do it and you be obedient. And come on, let's, let's make this about thanks be to God that did and everything that was accomplished through this through this uh, 268 days right now. Yeah, you go. I love, you know, when you say, uh, let's give a thanksgiving offering. Yeah. Because I always go back to Daniel. Daniel d it took three times a day that he praised the Lord. That's right. And that opened up favor for him. Yeah. The same with David, seven times a day. Thank the Lord. And when we give an offering like this, you know, to say thank you, Father, for what you've done for my family, for me, for my children. Then the, the heavens open up a favor upon your life. Yeah. And I believe that's what's going to happen tonight. Because when this morning when I woke up, that was the very first thing that dropped, was dropped into my spirit. Thankfulness opens up the door of favor upon Absolutely. God's people. That's right. So I believe December is going to be your best month. It's going to be the month of splendor. Come on. So Come on. give your seed of thanksgiving and you're going to see what God is about to do for you. Amen. Amen. Now they tell me that the, the, the um, uh, comments are working. I, I, I want to see that. If there's someone out there that's got a comment, say, I'm thankful God for what you've done in my life through these 268 days. Come on, just put something in the comments right now. If you are thankful of what God has done, log on to our Facebook feed. They tell me YouTube's working perfectly. If you're watching on any digital device, wherever, if you're watching at home, just lift your hands and say, thank you, Lord, for who you are and what you've done. It's all about thankfulness tonight. It is the season of miracles. Yeah. You know, we are right now in the season of miracles. And I want you really to, to put a seed together that you can say thank you for everything the Lord has done for you. Um, it's like Lillian said and everybody is that it thankfulness creates favor yeah. and without I was just speaking to our staff today and I was saying to them just going thanking them for the whole year and stuff in March of this year when the lockdown happened we never knew if we we're going to make it yeah, yeah we live on. by faith and I understand all that stuff but I had to say to them there is the possibility of the following we you might be retrenched you might lose your job you might have a salary cut and we went through the whole negative list. But I can sit here today and say not one lost their job. On. Not one took a salary cut. On. Um, they're getting bonuses. They're getting salary every month. N nothing was lost. Yeah. And it's because of the, the, the favor of God. But it's because of thankfulness. And it's that seed in the ground. Become a daily giver and you'll become a daily receiver. It's as simple as that. And I want to encourage you, those of you watching out there, this is the time where Jesus Christ was born. Now, there's not a Christmas service. I just want to give this to you. Our Savior was born in the season. Without Him, there was no healing. Without Him, there's no deliverance. Without Him, there is no Holy Ghost. Without Him, there was no baptism of the Holy Spirit. He said, it's better that I go, that the Holy Spirit will come. Think about all the benefits we have as a Christian because Christ was born in the season. And I really want you to get a seed out and say, thank you for taking me through 2020, but also thank you for the gift of life in my, in my personal Come life. On. Because that is a, it's a big thing for me to, to think what Jesus has done for us. Mm. It's the greatest gift of all. And put together a seed of thankfulness together for the Lord during this whole program. Just thank Him for what He has done yes. and by faith what He will do Come in on. 2021 for you. That's right. That's right. Let's just worship Him.
Come on, just lift your hands wherever you are. Just say thank you. Just say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Come on, let's do that right now. Let's just do that. I just feel the presence of the Lord. As Pastor Nikki was speaking, the presence of the Lord just showed up. And it's just like God's right here. He's right here right now. Let's thank Him. Let's thank Him. Come on, lift your voices. Let's just pray in the Spirit wherever you are. Come on. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank him. Thank him for what he's done. Thank him for carrying you through this year. Thank him for his goodness in your life. Come on, lift your voices all over Africa. You know how to pray. Come on, lift your voices. I, I want to hear every single one of you in homes right now, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just say, thank you, Lord, for carrying me. Thank you, Lord, for pulling me through. Thank you for your goodness in my life. Thank you for your abundance, your blessing. Thank you for your healing power over my life. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Matt, let's just take a moment and just worship him right now. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Holy. Holy. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we give you praise, Lord, hallelujah, for the Lord God Almighty's name, hallelujah.
Sing, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Oh, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb to receive blessing and honor and glory and power forever. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Just lift up your voice. Oh, just give Him praise. Just give Him honor. Oh, we ascribe to the Lord, the glory to his name, blessing and honor, glory and power forever. You are holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty? Mm. Let's just worship a little bit more. I just feel we need just a few more minutes. Come on, wherever you are. This is about giving thanks and honor to God. You have come through 2020. Thank Him. Love Him. Love Him with your worship. I just feel it's like heaven's just longing. There's just a, a heart of God just for you to worship Him tonight. Just, just worship Him. That's why we were created. We were created to worship. And our worship is thankfulness. Our worship is, Lord, we love you. We, we're not asking you for anything right now. We're just telling you, thank you. We love you. That's why we worship. So I want to encourage you, stand to your feet if you want to. Kneel at that in front of that TV, if you want to, in your lounge, your living room, get on your face, whatever you want to do. But come on, let's just worship just for a few moments. I'm calling all of Africa to worship, all of the UK to worship, all over the Americas right now. Come on, just worship. Lift your voice and just worship Him. Come on, lift your voice in the Spirit. Sing a new song. Worship Him, worship Him, worship Him. Your song arise, oh. 
Jesus in this place. I know and I can see even from the comments how even in your own homes you can sense the power of God with such love and tenderness and such hope just streaming in through the airwaves into the very place where you are sitting. What a wonderful God we serve. He is so faithful and I just in fact, our hearts is really that even in the season that you're stepping into, which is a Christmas season, it's a time for rejoicing, it's time to celebrate, it's a time to take a break for a lot of us, especially those of us in South Africa, this is really where we take a break to be together, to enjoy each other. But even in this season, the Lord gave me a word that I want to just leave with you today and I want to impress it on your hearts because it's, I want it to be almost like a... Um, you know, like a, a, when you stand on a, on a board before you dive, <laughs> that, that, that um, what do you call that thing? It's like diving a board. diving board, like a diving <laughs> board to, to get into, propel you into what God has for you, even in the season. And so many of us think, well, it's holiday now. Phew, I can just, you know, let go and relax. But that's not what God wants for your spirit. For your spirit, He wants you to get you in, propel you into a place of being completely surrounded by Him. And that is our heart for you in this season, that you would find yourself so hidden in His presence that you would be completely surrounded by Him in spite of anything and everything that goes on around you. In James, there's a beautiful scripture, James chapter 5, verse 13. And I'm so sure you have read this many times, but I want you to hear... Uh, the truth that is coming, it's very simple, very uh, straightforward, but I want it to be profound for your spirit today, that your spiritual eyes would open up and you would grab this with everything that you have. In James 5 verse 13, it says, If anyone among you is afflicted, in the Amplified Classic it says, ill-treated or suffering evil, he should pray. Is anyone glad at heart? He should sing praise to God. Now that's just like a, a scripture that we've all heard so many times, but there's two words that I want to really center in on. The first one being the word afflicted, and the second, the word pray. Now that word afflicted, it actually is a compound word when you go to the original Greek, which you know the New Testament was written in. And that word afflicted, it actually speaks about, just like it says in the Amplified Classic, as though something evil has conspired or happened uh, in your life. And what that means is when you look into the translation, evil could have been any sickness, any illness uh, that you may, may come on you physically. It could be a calamity that happened in your family. It could be a sudden loss. It could be anything bad that has happened to you. 
And then the second part of that word afflicted, not just the evil, which is the first thing, but the second thing is the effect that it has had on you as a person. So first of all, if anything has happened, any, any way the enemy has managed to attack you, uh, whether in your physical body or in your, um, you know, your emotions, or in your family, in circumstances around you, has had an adverse effect on you. In other words, it's caused you to suffer in any way, not just in your health, but emotionally or in any, any way, mentally, emotionally, but it's put a pressure and a suffering on you. Now, come on, I'm pretty sure sitting in your homes, you can identify, Lord, at this time, I almost feel like I'm at breaking point. Or, Father, you know, these things, it's just one thing on top of the other, on top of the other, on top of the other, and I actually feel like I, I just don't know if I could take any more. Every one of us kind of reaches a time in our experience or in life that we just want, we're at the brink, you know, and we kind of feel just, just one more thing and I don't know if I can stand anymore. Well, whether you feel like that now or you're going to feel like that in the future or you felt like that in the past or you know somebody who's personally going through that now, listen to what James tells us to do. When you get to a place, and even now in this Christmas season and the season that you're going into now, if you ever found, find that you're in a place of being afflicted, where somehow something has occurred or happened in you that has put a pressure of a suffering on you, whether it's physically, whether it's mentally, whether it's emotionally, the only answer we have, and it's amazing that the tense that this is written in, it, is, it actually brings an urgency with it. This is not a suggestion. This is our automatically automatic go-to. This is the plan that God says for us. If you find your place, self in that place, this is what you do. You should pray. You should pray. Now, I'm so excited about this because this word pray, and we've, we've mentioned bits of it before, but I found something that I really want to encourage you with because immediately the moment somebody says, well, you should be praying, it puts a, almost a thing on you when you're thinking, oh, no. Oh my goodness, now I've got to work to like get out of this thing and I don't have the energy to do that. Oh no, now I've got to intercede and I, oh my word, how am I going to do this? It's, it's, it's almost like a work thing comes on you. And, and as it is, I don't even have the energy to do that. Have you ever felt that way? God, I don't even have the energy to pray. How am I going to get out of this? But listen to what that word pray means. It's, it's also a compound word from the Greek. Right. And what I love about it is the first part speaks about a relationship. It speaks about a one-on-one -on -one come up close with God himself. So when we pray, the first part of that word means up close and personal, when you can just go face to face with God. If I am face to face with God, where am I? Come on. I'm in his presence. That's right. When I pray to God, instead of the first thing that comes to mind of, oh, now I've got to say the right words, now I've got to use this formula, now I've got to work to pray properly. No, I want you just for a moment to let all of those things fall aside and just think of one thing, face to face with Jesus. Step straight in to his presence. You don't have to work to get there. You just have to open your eyes and step in face to face with Jesus. And the second part of that word speaks about a sacrifice. And when they wrote this in the Greek, the, remember the people of ancient Greek, they were Greece rather, they were very, very superstitious. They had so many uh, spiritual traditions and religions and you know how they were with all their Greek gods and all their ways and rituals. But to pray was something that was very big in or the whole Greek culture when they prayed to their gods. It always involved a sacrifice. So when James wrote this word pray, if you are afflicted, if you in any time feel that you're losing it, if there's ever a time that you feel that you are suffering either physically, mentally, emotionally, you should pray. They immediately understood, hey, this is not just a face-to-face face, face, to face encounter. It actually involves a sacrifice. What is that? Well, often it would mean that they would have to bring a vow before God. 
kind of like say, God, um, I, or their gods, I come and I bring you a sacrifice. And which is quite amazing is it would always require a sacrifice of thanksgiving. In other words, before you grant me what I'm praying for, I first want to thank you in advance. Isn't this good? Did you hear that? I know we're not of ancient Greece. I know we don't have pagan um, you know, rituals. But the same principle is brought through in the word prayer. Yes, we are face to face with Jesus. But in that time, there's going to be an exchange that takes place. Even before, even before I speak to him about what is on my heart, the first thing that comes out is a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And Lillian spoke so beautifully about this, even in the program today, about the whole beauty of thanksgiving. God, I thank you. Even before I tell you what is on my heart, I thank you for who you are in my life. Do you understand what that does? Immediately it changes the whole atmosphere. The whole atmosphere changes concerning where you are at personally. I have stepped into his presence. I'm looking at him face to face and I'm saying, thank you. Kind of think of what it is like when you have somebody who fall, falls overboard. Let's say you're on a big cruise ship and someone falls overboard and lands in the ocean. And then someone comes to rescue them, throws that lifeguard, what that, that life boy thing over to them and, and you get pulled up. What is the first thing the person who's been rescued will say, oh, thank you, thank you. And I really believe that that's exactly what they're trying to tell us in James. What James was saying to us, when we are in a place where we are being afflicted, right. the first thing we do is not come crawling or screaming or shouting or crying, but just to come step in face to face with Jesus. Open your eyes, look at Him and say, thank you, thank you. Thank you in anticipation for what you are going to do for me. Thank you already in anticipation for who you are to me. Right at this moment, you know everything that I need. You know everything before I even mention it. And I just want to say, before I ever bring it to you, thank you. This is so beautiful. That sacrifice of thanksgiving when we face to face with God. And then comes the great exchange. When we bring that sacrifice of thanksgiving to Him, we know that immediately that is a form of praise. And we know that he's enthroned in the praises of his people. And I loved how Ted spoke about this even yesterday. He said, isn't it amazing that a person who is full of thanksgiving and a person who is full of praise, even if it's a sacrifice and they offer it out of a desperation, but have chosen to do that, God can never ignore that plea. He can never ignore people who choose to praise or to thank God. Even before you lay out what it is on what is on your heart, that thanksgiving, that praise will never ever fall short of the eyes of God. Never ever will you find that his hand is too short to meet you. In fact, he is right there. Right there. And there's there's um there's a psalm that I was reading and um, um amplified, listen to me. Lillian gave me, she blessed me with a book. It was, it's the Passion Translation for the Psalms and the Proverbs. And I have really been taking time just to read over those Psalms. And they have fed my spirit so beautifully. But I was realizing that David always came from that same place as well. And I want to read something to you in light of understanding. If you are ever afflicted, what should you do? Your immediate, urgent go-to is going to pray. But that prayer, remember, means I open my eyes and I step straight into the presence of God. I draw close to Him. I look at Him face to face and I say, thank you. This is my sacrifice before you. Yeah. This is what I give you. Thank you that I already know you are my answer. You are going to meet every need that I have. You already know what is best for me. That is exactly what your plan is for me. I surrender to that plan. Thank you. 
Isn't that wonderful? It's no, well, God, I didn't put myself in this situation. I don't deserve this. Why are you doing this to me? Come on. There's no attitude involved in this. The only thing is, thank you. Here I am. I surrender and I receive from you. So look at what it says here in the Psalms. It's just so beautiful. Psalm 2 verse 12 in the Passion Translation. Oh, it's just, actually, I want to I wanna do Psalm 3 first. Psalm 3, verse 3 to 5, listen to what it says. But in the depths of my heart, and if you, if you read up what the psalm is about, it is about David who is running and fleeing from his own son Absalom. Mm. His own son, he has to flee for his life from Absalom. So you can imagine the turmoil and the affliction that David is in. He says, but in speaking to God, in the depths of my heart, I truly know that you, Yahweh, have become my shield. You take me and surround me with yourself. Isn't that what prayer is? Isn't that what prayer is? Isn't that what we just learned? Prayer is stepping in to Jesus opening my eyes that I'm face to face with him that the only thing surrounding me is God himself God himself surrounds me that's what he says you take me and surround me with yourself your glory covers me continuously you lift high my head when I bow low in shame I have cried out to you Yahweh from your holy presence. Where did David cry out to God from? Not from his bed chamber or his down in the dumps or his calamity or his, no, from the presence of God. Don't sit in your place of suffering and affliction and cry out from that place. Step into the presence of God first and from his presence, Thank you, God, that you surround on, me Jay. like a shield. You surround me with yourself. That is where he lifts your head. That is where you can open your heart to him. And it will always end in his glory. Always. That's good. But you have to do it from in that place of prayer, which is in his presence. This is so good. So now, I'll lie down, David said. And I will sleep like a baby. <laughs> then I'll awake in safety. For you surround me with your glory. This is the God that we serve. This is our Savior, Jesus, who we've chosen to celebrate now in this season. Why? <laughs> Because He is the one who surrounds us like a shield. He does that. But you have to choose to acknowledge that. And this is my, I don't want to say wish because it sounds so pagan, but this is my desire, my heart's desire for every one of you who have so faithfully watched these programs with us, for every one of our team that's in the studio and behind the scenes and in South Africa working so hard, for every one of you who've only just tuned in, maybe even for the first time today, this is my heart's desire that you would know no matter what you walk into, no matter what mountain comes up in front of you, no matter what giant stands before you and threatens to overtake you, if you choose to do exactly what it says in the Word, in the book of James, that when you are afflicted, the very first thing you must do is pray. Open your eyes. Step into His presence. Look at Him face to face and say, Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You surround me as a shield. And it's in that time that you open your heart from in the midst of His presence. Mm, wow, yeah. Hallelujah. You know, I've been looking at the comments and uh, there's comments of calamity. There's comments of already people facing difficult things. Some people have been laid off. Some people are facing sickness. 
Some people are facing difficult things that I've just been seeing in the comments. We want more than ever, as we take just this little break and not come live to you. Yes, we're repeating the programs. Yes, you're going to have the Word of God. But what I want you to understand is, this is a key for you to stay strong. I'm looking at someone who's just lost their job right now. What are you going to do? Are you going to mope about it? Yeah. Or are you going to get up, get into His presence Thank and Jesus say, Thank Jesus. you, Lord. Thank you that this is another opportunity for you to show yourself good yes. over my life. You see, that's what I want you to realize. I, and Nikki and Lillian, I, I know as an encouragement to everybody out there, through this season, we need to stay vigilant. That's right. We need to stay on point, And we need to stay in the presence of God more than anything. Even when you're traveling. Even when you, you're in a place that doesn't have a television or maybe you, you get onto the app get the word of God inside of you let's talk about some of those pointers where people can stay on that cutting edge right now for me uh, Pastor Andre, I really feel and, and you know just coming from where Jenny <coughs> left off is that the fear of God is the beginning of everything if we lose the fear of God we lose That's the presence right. of God if I lose the fear of God then I lose the cutting edge in the spirit realm. I, I, I become stagnant, sin enters in, you know, you pray less, you out of the presence of God. But when you constantly live and is conscious on the fear of God, the respect of God, that He's always there, then you will constantly have a sphere of influence, a presence around you right. because you're conscious of Him. It's all about being conscious of the Holy Spirit the whole time. Being that is that is resting on you, that is with you, and that you can live in that dimension of the presence of God. There's nothing like the presence of God. Once you've tasted that, nothing in this world can compare to the presence of God. And how do I enter into the presence of God? I come in, first of all, by myself. I live a lifestyle of the fear of God. And then by living a life of worship and of thankfulness, those are the keys to sustain the presence of God upon your life, yeah. the fear of God, live a lifestyle of thankfulness, of worship and sacrifices. And lastly, from my side, is unity. If you can live in unity with each other, yeah. unity with God, the blessings of the Lord will always be there. He says, I will command my blessings where there's unity. Come on, babe. And blessings is the presence of God, the anointing of God. I have to, <laughs> I have to literally want to say the word fight, I have to fight to stay in unity. That's right. Sounds weird, but I have to focus yeah, the whole time. I'm going to have, exactly. Mm -hmm. If I'm not in unity with my wife, not in yeah. unity with my children, not in unity with my friends and mm -hmm. co-workers, then the, they will always come in. I have to constantly put up the guards to stay in unity, stay in the fear of God, stay in worship, stay in thankfulness, and bring the sacrifices. Those five foundations is what I believe sustains the presence of God. And it's a lifestyle. You become so conscious of it that it becomes a normal thing. Mm -hmm. And once it's not there, you realize, what's wrong today? Something's out. And then you just have to reflect, oh, the unity is out. The fear is out. I didn't worship today. I didn't thank God today. Whatever. And you'll feel it. Yeah. When, when it's not there, you'll feel it. Something is wrong. Yeah. And then you just have to reflect and get back in the presence That's of right. God. Um, you know, the scripture is so powerful, Jenny. Yo, it's 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 mind blowing actually. You know, when you read and you, you, you read the word, it says, I have cried out to you, Yahweh, from your holy presence. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, we're all seeking the presence of God and we want the presence of God. But he wants us more Correct. than anything else. Right. right. You know, it's like he is hungry as well just to come and hear you start praying when you are in that dark place and when you start praying you will not fear i want to say this you know the lord has really dealt with me for 2021 and it's like the year 2021 is going to be a year of maturity mm. if i think what we've done for 268 days we have given food to god's children yes. spiritual food and they've been they've like you would say growing 
expand it. And God can use you now for 2021. You are ready to go and to be used by the, with the presence of God that's in. It, it's wrapped around you. Nobody can take it away from you because now you are mature. I look at the families and I think that's the very first thing that Satan comes to, to attack is families. Now I believe December is also the month of uh, the month of miracles. Love is a miracle, the, the month of December, where when you have the love of Christ still in you as a family and you pray, you partake of the communion and you give. I will not stop giving daily because that brought us through the daily giving. Uh, the partaking of the communion. Now, I want to really encourage the families out there. You're watching tonight. And don't stop doing mm. what we've That's taught good. you through 268 well, days. It's get into the Word, pray, partake of the communion, and give. Mm. Give. You, that's your protection. When you partake of the communion, that's your protection of your home. There will be no divorces. There will be no backsliding. There will be people that are so hungry. They will step in victory. Yes. 2021 will be your year. Those are the things. Just stay by the, with the simple yes. things that we've taught you through 268 days. It's the simple wow. things right. that will keep us going. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Wow. Can I read Isaiah 60? Because this is what I got this morning. And uh, it just blessed me for the viewers out there. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise and shine. Yes. <laughs> for your light, your breakthrough has come. Come on. And the glory. That's what we've been speaking about. Of the Lord is risen upon you. It's not going to happen. It's it upon is. you. Hallelujah. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth. I mean, we've seen this all over. And deep darkness, the people. But... The Lord will arise over you yes. and His glory will be seen over you. Although there's darkness, recession, COVID, everything, but not on you. On. I declare it in the name of Jesus. Jesus and then he says here, the Gentiles shall come to your light mm. and the kings to your brightness. Lift up come your on, eyes. Man. Stop being yeah. discouraged. Just like Pastor Jenny has said, stop being in a place where I'm so disappointed and discouraged and I don't feel good. Get out of that. Get in the presence oh, of God. Yeah. Lift up your eyes. Yeah. Look around and you shall see. And look at this. He says, they all gather together. They come to you. Your son shall come from afar. Your daughters shall be nursed at your side. And then you shall see and become radiant. And your heart shall swell with joy because the abundance of the sea on, shall God. be turned to you. The wealth of the wicked shall Praise come God. to you. The Jesus multitude of camels, camels shall cover you. And I, I just love this. He says, they shall bring golden incense and they shall proclaim the praises of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I will glorify the house of my glory. I love this, Pastor Andre. It's just, then he says here, wow. their silver and their gold will come with them. And the name of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, shall be glorified. Wow. Praise the Lord for wow. this promise. Wow. And I just wanted to, when I prayed this morning, that's what I felt. That's Arise yes. and shine. Yes. For your light, your breakthrough, your deliverance has yes. come. Yes. Darkness is on the earth, but not upon you. He says, I will arise over you. And that's a promise for me. Yeah. I'm standing on that. The glory of the Lord is risen upon us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I love that. I love that. Now, this, this is what I want to, I want to do something. We want to give you all a special Christmas gift today. Okay. This is our last live broadcast from Faith USA from our offices right here in our studios in Marco Island, Florida. And we want to give you all a gift just because we love you so, so much. And we don't want you to go on holiday without us. We want you to take <laughs> us with you on your vacation. Mm. All right? So wherever you're traveling, whatever car you're going in, wherever you are going over this festive season, so what we have done 
is we have opened the Faith Now app <laughs> for the next 30 days free of charge wow. for you to go with us or for us to go with you, should I say. All right? But here's the rule. You have to subscribe to it now in the next 24 hours. We're opening the window only for 24 hours. Wow. Because after 24 hours, others might get to hear about this, <laughs> and then they're not you. They're not faithful like you are. All right, who've been with us for 268 days. So what we have done is we have opened the app and opened Faith Now networks. All of the networks are open for you for 30 days. From today until the 11th of January when we are back with you live again, you'll be able to take us with you live wherever you go. You'll be able to have the word, exactly what Jenny's been speaking about. You'll be able to watch the reruns. You'll be able to watch any program. Thousands and thousands of powerful men of God. You'll be able to watch all the Christmas shows. In case you get to a place where Faith TV is not available, you might be camping, you might be visiting friends, and you can't watch like you want to, you'll be able to watch on your handheld device or anything. But now here's what you have to do. Listen carefully. You have to go to the website in order for this to be applicable for you. So you have to go to faithnow.app. Faith Now, you'll see it on your screen right now. Faithnow.app. Don't go to the app yet until you have signed up at the website. In order for the free month to apply in your life, you have to sign up at the website. So I want to encourage you, go now to the website, faithnow.app. And do it on a computer. Do it on a, a, a laptop or a computer that is a screen. Or if it's on your iPad, go in Safari to it. Okay, go in one of the web browsers to it. All right, you've got to go in a web browser to that particular page, faithnow.app. And then sign up. And in the product code, I, I believe that's what it is I gave, in the promo code, you'll see a promo code block over there. Put in the promo code 2021. That's our secret. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. All right? But in there, put in the secret in the promo code 2021. All right? If you sign up today in the next 24 hours and you put in the promo code 2021, that is going to give you free access to the Faith Now app and the Faith Now broadcast of networks, which is all of the networks that are there with us. All of them. You get them all. You take them on holiday free of charge with you. Yeah. All you have to do is put in the promo code 2021, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> all right. Keep it a secret between you and us because we want you to benefit from this. For the next 30 days we don't want you to miss any of the repeats we don't want you to miss any of the powerful programming that's come up great christmas shows great things happening we'll be live with you not live in this format but live in our repeats with you same time every night going from monday for four weeks and then on the 11th of january monday the 11th we're going to have a countdown to monday the 11th and on Monday the 11th, we're going to be live with you right from the studio again. And it's going to be glorious, okay? So I really want to encourage you, wherever you are, to let that be a part of what God is wanting to do in your life, that the Word of God continues on the inside of you. But you have to. The rule is you have to go to the website, faithnow.app. Faithnow.app. It's on your screen. That's where you have to go. And... If you go there, I believe there's a QR code as well right there on the screen. You can take your phone and go on the QR code and it'll take you to the website as well. But you have to go to the website. Once you've logged on and signed up at the website, they're telling me, then you can download the app and then you can log into your app with the credentials 
from your website sign in or sign up, okay? So that's how it's going to work for Christmas. You can use it on the app. You get five devices free of charge. In other words, we're giving you this as a gift to you for Christmas. For five of your family members as you're traveling, we want to make sure that you can be a part of it while you're driving in your car. Many people listen. You've got the Christian radios that you can listen to in your car while you're driving. Think about this. Christian radio all over South Africa in your car coming to you by the Faith Now app and just Bluetooth it to your car. Think about the Word of God. Think about the network broadcasting the Word of God in your car via Bluetooth while you're driving. Think how beautiful this is. Casting network to you for Christmas, Pastor like Nikki. Thank you so much. It's going to be lovely. It's a blessing. Yeah. You need to get it. You know, I showed it to, to uh, some people this week. And it's just amazing to go on that app quickly. Yeah. yeah. And immediately you can have access to movies, to yeah. radio, to programs. Everything is on there. And it's ridiculous, the price. Yeah. You know, if you have to pay for it, $1.99. But you're getting that as a Christmas gift. So <laughs> praise the Lord. All right. Then do, do me a favor. Share the app. Mm. Share the, the, the advert. If you go to our Facebook page, we, have, um, we actually have the app, the little uh, advert of the app on our Facebook page. You can click on it and you can share it. Share it with your friends and family. Tell people about the app. Become an ambassador for us on the app. All right? That people yeah. get to know. If you're in a church, all right, and you all go to a church, why, why don't you ask your pastor if you could announce the app? If you could tell the people in the church about the app, all right? Maybe put up a little sign in your church. Maybe put up an advert. Help us. Help us promote the Faith Now app all over the world. You can be the best advert out there Amen. for us to reach That's more good. and more people. Thousands and thousands have already signed up, and we want you to sign up as well. This is TV of the future. Yep. All right, this is the way it's going. You, you've seen what's happened to Facebook today. Many yeah. people can't comment on Facebook. Yeah. Many people, it's just locked. We, we all locked down. Jenny's the only one with an open feed right now on wow. Facebook. <laughs> all right, and uh, she, she's just anointed over here. Yeah. All right, I've tried every one of my Facebook accounts. It doesn't help. Can't all right, we can't, we can't get in. We, we can't. You've you got to understand, this is what's happening. I mean, even 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 uh, YouTube this week. Yeah. YouTube this week announced that they are restricting and locking down any negative comments about a particular word, which I don't want to say on air. Well, they'll lock us down. All right, but they are locking down anyone that uses the word. Don't say it, please, love. Something, <laughs> something, and something. It's already been advertised. Sure. If you use those three words, they are locking you down, pulling the feed. And you cannot say it. And it's all to do. Let me just tell you what those words are all to do with. It's all to do with the U.S. elections. That's how shocking it is. All right. I won't tell you what the words are. But, but I'm telling you, the writing is on the wall. The writing is on the wall. That's how they're reading it by typing it in. All right. But that's, that's what they're doing. They are trying to control the freedom of speech. They're trying to control. Can you imagine if YouTube... If Facebook, if, if, if anybody gets up, can you imagine if they say the name of Jesus can never be shared again on social media? They have controlled the whole world. They're controlling the world. It's not presidents, whatever, the, the social the media The social platforms. media. And that's why the Faith Now app is free. It's, uh, it's available and there's no control over it. So you, you need to download Faith Now. That is... It's, it's the Netflix of the Christian world. All right? That's what faith now is becoming. Okay? It's very important for you. Get a hold of it. Download it. Tell your friends. You can get it on Apple TV, Roku TV. Uh, if you're taking your Apple TV with you on vacation, uh, you plug it in wherever you are on vacation, you can watch us. You can watch us on Roku. You can watch us on many of the digital platforms, but you have to be signed up to faith now. Mm. All right, so tell your friends and become a part of that today. That's the beautiful thing, Nikki, uh, uh, about the app. Mm. Okay, now we've got a matter of minutes left. We're going to break bread in just a few moments together. But here's what I want us to do. I'm going to give us each an opportunity. This is our Christmas message for you, from us as a family, from us as individuals, 
and we just want to bless you. And, and, and Matt, I'm going to start there with you, okay? You and Kelly and, and, and Mike and all of us, we've got a matter of minutes left and we're going to break bread together as our closing opportunity today. Now, you've had opportunity to give. You just sow as God leads you. You sow. But Matt, um, just in closing with everybody, whatever's on your heart to say Merry Christmas and a blessed new year, now's your opportunity. Well, thank you so much. Um, for inviting us into your homes for the last nine months. Mm. Um, it's been an honor for us to, um, first off, get to be part of this new family here um, at Faith Broadcasting, but for you guys to um, invite us into your home on a daily basis and actually allow us and give us the, the honor to minister to you, to your heart, to your family, to... Um, to administer healing and to um, allow us to flow in the spirit and for you guys to participate with us. And so uh, we're just so thankful um, for this opportunity. And, and I said it, I think, a couple weeks ago when December first started, but in the midst of all of the traditions, in the midst of all of the, you know, the gift giving and the, the Christmas trees and the lights and the decorations and all of those, you know, the, all of the, the goodies, the cookies, the food, the turkey, the ham, all of the, the fun traditions that we do, I'm just, I, I'm so reminded of the love of God in the midst of this season in that he laid aside his glory. He was with his father from eternity past having need of nothing, yet having a, des a, a deep desire in his heart for you. And so he laid aside all of that glory that he shared with his father, and he came and he took on flesh, became a man. He died our death. He took on our sin, our sickness, our disease, our infirmities, our grief, our sadness, our sorrow, all of those things so that nothing, in heaven or on earth or under the earth, anything in all creation could separate us from his love. And so I just want to leave you with that. Um, he loves you. He loves you. His love for you is unconditional. It's undeniable. It's fierce. He's, he will chase you down. He will come after you with everything he has because he died for you. He desires you. He loves you with an everlasting love. And, and that's what I'm celebrating this Christmas, Christmas, and I hope that you will too. So Merry wow. Christmas. Have a happy new year. Um, and we're excited for what the Lord is going to bring in this year to come. Thank so. you. Thank you, Matt. Kelly? Um, I just want to say, yeah, I want to say thank you guys. We love you so much, even though we haven't maybe met you. We've met you through the screen, and we love you. And um, my prayer for all of you this Christmas, I know there's been so many families affected by um, the virus this year, and even just politically, I've seen so much division in families and people who haven't been able to get together. So my prayer and my expectation is that God is going to reunite families in this season. I believe that there's going to be people who haven't been able to see each other that will get to see each other. I really believe that God is bringing unity back into the family. And even for those of you who've been praying for people who've been gone from your family long before this virus, I believe that there's a, a reconnection. There's something that's going to happen. And so I just want to rise your expectation to believe again for those things and to trust that God is going going to bring your family together, that you will see what you've been praying for, and we are praying with you for that. And I also want to encourage you, we may be having reruns for the next few weeks, but you get to take this light that has been lit, and you get to continue this in your home. So don't stop taking communion every single day. Good take work, it Kelly. with your family and continue, even challenge yourself. Read the word, and maybe men in the household preach to your family. What has God told you that morning? You don't need to rely on this television show. You can rely on what God's telling you. And so I want to encourage you to come and um, show up to the table. Show up maybe during the same time every single night and you guys have family time together and see what God does in that because I know it's going to be even better than this has been. He's going to take you even further. So we love you. I encourage you and I can't wait to hear the testimonies of what happens over break when we come back. Oh, wow. Thank right. you so much, Kelly. That, that was such a strong word about encouraging people to continue communion. 
because uh, I wanted to say that as well. The thing that has become our strength is break bread and have communion. We've done it for 268 days together, and we're going to do it tonight together again in just a moment. Don't stop doing that as a family. We are going to run the repeats on Facebook. We are going to run the repeats uh, of these programs and these rebroadcasts right through the whole season. If there are ambassadors that are out there that could log on and could be a part of the repeats and help us through that repeat time, we would love you to do that. If, if you're on vacation, we understand. All right? But more than ever, break bread every single day as a family together. Don't stop that. If you stop watching, that's okay. But break bread together. And remember to sow a seed every single day, wherever you go. If I can leave those two key things with you myself, it would be break bread every day and sow a seed every single day into the kingdom of God. And watch what God is going to do in your life. Mike, come on, your closing words. Uh, uh, thank you for allowing me in your home and to worship with all of you. It's been such a blessing to me, and I'm sure it's been a blessing to most of you, to a lot of you, hopefully to every one of you, and to every one of you who still have doubts at this time, I just encourage you to know that God is good. Mm -hmm. If you haven't learned anything, mm -hmm. let, let it be that God has been good. And for me, even though it's been a struggle for me emotionally, uh, physically, through this time, God has shown faithful to me through these eight months, through this show and just through our lives. And I just want to encourage you to just hold steadfast to his word, to the teachings that have been taught to you through this program. And just to continue, as Kelly said, to just grow in your faith and grow in your knowledge of his word, of his promises, and to just hold fast to the joy that he's going to pour onto you, not only to the rest of this year, but into the next year. And just be encouraged by that. And I just hope to see you again. And uh, thank you and Merry Christmas and wow, <laughs> Happy wow. New Year to all of you. Wow. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Waldo. Here's the problem when you get to speak last. <laughs> is that all your colleagues and all your friends around you have already me. said all the words. <laughs> yeah? That's but truly from the bottom of my heart, <laughs> I just want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. There we go. That hasn't been said. <laughs> Short, sweet and precise and to the point. Pastor, <laughs> Pastor Nikki and Lillian. <laughs> you, you guys have become such good friends to us. You are part of the family. In fact, you're part of the furniture. Mm. Your bum imprints are on that yeah, seat. Exactly. Every I time he gets seat. up, we know exactly what is his seat. The shape of his oh, tush <laughs> is in the seat. Uh, I tried to sit on your seat the other day and it didn't fit me. It didn't, it didn't, didn't fit me. Okay. But... Um, Come on, after 268 days, let, let, me, let me say this, after 268 days, these chairs are hard. Oh. The sponge is gone on these <laughs> chairs. <laughs> they, they have got really hard. And, and I'm not just joking about that. I mean very serious. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> our our, our bum imprints are inside. We need new chairs for 2021. <laughs> okay. But, um, but hours and hours of sitting in these chairs and being a part, you guys have been a blessing to us. And uh, we couldn't have done it without you. You're part of the family. Sure. You're part of the furniture. It's only 536 and, and, uh, hours of being in the chair. 536 sure. hours of sitting in these chairs. Sure. All right. But, uh, but thank you. Thank you so much. And look, I know God networked our ministries together yes. for a reason. I know you're going to be back with us in the new year. And uh, you'll be back in the latter part of the year. We, we've got a great 2021 plan for you. Just, just all know that. Okay. Uh, it's going to be amazing with what God's going to be doing with Pastor Nikki and myself and, and just uh, our families and what God has in store for you. The great dome opening in April, uh, all those things. But he also has a church and he also has responsibilities there. And uh, so we're going to bid you farewell tonight. Sad farewell. All right, and uh, 
And for those of you who don't know, I'm taking them all out to eat tonight. We're going as a big, big family. All right? We are going as a family. We are having our Christmas party. Now, it's, it's coming up to 1 p.m. right here in American time. So it's lunchtime now. But tonight at 5 p.m., we are all going on a cruise together. Okay? We have... And we're not falling overboard. We've hired a little dinner cruise boat, all right, that we are all going to go on, and we are spoiling all of you, and we're giving you Christmas gifts, and, and uh, we, we're going to be having a marvelous time as a team. We wish we could take you all with us, but we'll put some photos up, okay? Yeah. We'll show you some photos, and uh, this is something we're doing just to say thank you to the team. This is our Christmas party together before everybody runs off in their own direction and goes and has their vacation but Nikki and Lillian we love you we love you we love you we love you thank you to the West family for allowing you to to be with us and NBCFC uh, remember the the rule the rule is you only get them back all right if you pay for all that beautiful LED boards that are going around the whole door all right then you get them back so with all the flags okay so remember at the moment they're not coming back because you haven't paid enough yet over there but thank you what do you want to say you go first you know the most powerful force in the world is love yes and when I look around me I absolutely you know, I couldn't see you, but um, I know that is the heart of the Father. When I look around me, I absolutely see the most beautiful part of His heart, love. And this Christmas, may you have such a beautiful, deep encounter with the Holy Spirit again, over and over. May you have a wonderful Christmas with your family. And the last words I want to say is, forgive quickly and love deeply. Mm. That's good. Amen. From my side, I also just want to say thank you for allowing us in your homes the past eight months, nine months. It's been incredible. We've had a great journey together. We got to know our ambassadors and the Zoom calls was just amazing seeing them. But we love you. We pray for you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. I want to leave you with the following scripture that we started off in March. Mm. And Pastor Andre read that every day those psalms 91 those who live in the shelter of the most high will find rest in the shadow of the almighty this i declare about the lord he alone is my refuge my place of safety he is my god and i trust him for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from every deadly disease he will cover you with his feathers he will shelter you with his wings his faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in the darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall on your side, ten thousand on your right, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are perished and punished. If you make the Lord your refuge... If you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, nor will he, or, excuse me, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will uphold you with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and the cobra. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer, and I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with long life wow. and give them my salvation. That's my prayer for every single one of you. Merry Christmas, a blessed Christmas, and may Psalms 91 be your protection. Wow, thank you, thank you. Jen? I thought I said enough already. <laughs> but yes, obviously everything is just, we, we want to wish you the, the, the best Christmas ever. And already you are prospering for the new year. But there is something funny that I see Pierre put on here. So I want to bring the light note into this. Pierre was just commenting on how 
we have Jan van Riebeck with us right here in the studio when they saw Mike. Mike, you wouldn't the Americans won't understand that before the South Africans. I thought that was really good. So thank you, Pierre. And on that note, I just want to thank you all for such a good sense of humor you have had yes. throughout all of this. We have laughed a lot. We've laughed until we've cried and you've been part of that with us. So thank you so much for the humor that you have always brought to the show that you've well this time together and you know laughter is the best medicine so i pray that your christmas will be full of joy, joy full yes. of joy it's a time to enjoy each other that's right now for those of you who are going to download the app and get the faith now tv uh, package it is for new subscribers people are questioning well it's not working i'm a, I'm, I'm there i'm trying to get the the the, the code listen if you've already subscribed, $1.99 is your gift to us for the month. All right? Please take it as a Christmas gift. This is for new people that have never yet subscribed, never downloaded. We want everyone to take the app with them. For The, the, the promo code only works for new subscriptions. All right? So um, if you want to sign up again, go ahead. Get the free month. All right? If you'd like to do that. But this is only for those that are with us every month. And I see even the camera operators are, are getting a bit weary here today. <laughs> so, um, so, so, so we, we, we're about oh, to leave. Are we going to go out with a Christmas carol or something good, oh, Matt? As long as we don't have to. All right. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a glorious, <laughs> glorious, glorious time. Now, remember, tomorrow night, Kevin Davis and Chantel will be doing the final live night from Buffalo City, East London Studio C, tomorrow, okay? So that'll be the last official live broadcast, day number 269. And then uh, Sunday is day number 271. They'll be live. All the Sundays, we will still be live. There will be repeats of my SMI, mm -hmm. all right, that are coming through the airwaves. So my SMI and Pastor Nikki and Lillian have uh, got all those repeats lined up and all the programs that'll go through as well but you you can be a part of those still but the live services from the other locations will still be live through the season and then remember january 11 diarize it put it on your calendar circle it monday night the 11th of january we are all going to be back with you all right quickly what are you doing for your vacation quickly and then we're going to pray and we're going to break bread well, we're together going to spend family time yeah. spend family yeah, time show the kids around and are we going to tell time. them i'm taking yes. them to yes. the snow yes. Yes. all right i'm Colorado. taking nikki and lillian yeah, with us to the snow okay <laughs> so uh i've said to them we are going to have a white it's we, a bucket list for it's us. a bucket list so we are going to have new year in the snow yes. together come on all right and then they're Hope flying back to south africa so we are going to be up in colorado and uh, we're going to have snowball fights so you'll see some of those pictures oh, oh. on social media as oh, well we, we're going to win obviously and uh, oh, what is and jenny's <laughs> mom is here for christmas we've got a great christmas her sister and brother-in-law arrived and sarah her 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 niece her niece i'm trying to work this all out in my head they all yeah we're gonna have a glorious time as a family and we're all having christmas lunch together as well oh, awesome. all right so all we are African. we are having a south african christmas in america yes. and we're having an american new year in the snow Yo. all right all together so that's our holiday plans keep us up to date with what your holiday plans are and we want to thank you from Jen and I. Thank you so much for a glorious, glorious 268 days. Come on, we got two things left. We've got to break bread. And then we're going to all shout out the famous words as we say goodbye to you. But right now, the bread represents the body of Christ. The cup represents the blood. Do this, the Lord says, in remembrance of me as oft as you do this. Always remember what I did on the cross of Calvary over 2,000 years ago. Don't neglect the bread and the cup on your vacation. And the Lord bless you. Let it be health to your body. Let it be as it flows through your veins, nourishment and healing every day of your life. Walk COVID free. Thank Walk you. totally healed. Yes, Walk blessed in the blood of the Lamb. God bless you. Let's partake together. the blood.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Victory in the name of Jesus. Victory in the name of Jesus. What a year it's been. 2020 is officially over in our books. We are well into 2021, the year of the local church. We'll be back live with you January the 11th. Have a super duper Christmas, a prosperous new year, and our family show will air on Christmas Day, a repeat. Are you ready? All of us together, are you ready? The first word, Matt, take us home.